Hi, I'm Katerina Poncero with National Underwriter Property and Casualty. Here are the top stories from PC360.com for the week of May 12th to May 18th. U.S. property and casualty insurers saw 2012 first quarter net income soar by 69% as lower catastrophe losses helped drop the industry's combined ratio to 96, compared to 102 a year ago, according to a Moody's Investor Service Analysis. In the report, Moody's says the industry enjoyed a relatively quiet quarter with respect to catastrophes, although March tornadoes caused about $1.2 billion in estimated insured losses, hurting some regional carriers. The House has passed the 30-day National Flood Insurance Program extension that would push the program's expiration date back to June 30th. Industry representatives said before the bill was officially introduced, that the short extension is designed to avoid a lapse while still exerting pressure on the Senate to act on a five-year extension with reforms. The current 30-day extension bill, introduced by Representative Judy Bigger from Illinois, also contains some reforms included in the House's five-year extension. A state judge has ruled that New York's Attorney General must review his predecessor's private emails relating to a probe of AIG and decide whether to release them to the public. The Office of Attorney General Eric Schneiderman must gain access to an email account belonging to former Attorney General Elliot Spitzer, even though it was private, State Supreme Court Justice Christopher K. Hill wrote. Spitzer sued former AIG Chief Executive Maurice Hank Greenberg and former CFO Howard Smith in 2005, claiming the insurance giant fraudulently inflated reserves and hid more than $200 million in losses. Spitzer's successors, Andrew Cuomo and Schneiderman have continued to pursue the case. The chief executive of HoleInOne.com has been charged with insurance fraud in Montana after failing to pay prize money to a tournament participant who shot a hole-in-one almost two years ago. Montana Commissioner of Securities and Insurance Monica J. Lindine announced last week that Kevin Colenda, the CEO of the web-based company, failed to pay the $18,000 prize won by Troy Pasig after he shot a hole-in-one at a Missoula Country Club golf tournament. The department alleges that Colenda took close to $1,000 in premium dollars from the tournament's sponsors with no intention of covering the prize. He's been charged with felony insurance fraud and misdemeanor selling insurance without a license. Catastrophe bond activity reached record levels in the first quarter of this year, exceeding last year's placements by more than $300 million, says a leading reinsurance broker. Insurance broker Guy Carpenter, a subsidiary of Marshall McLennan Companies, the parent company of insurance broker Marsh, issued a report saying that total global catastrophe bond placements reached $1.34 billion issued through eight transactions. Aon Risk Solutions has been removed from insuring the NATO summit in Chicago, according to the Chicago Tribune. The Tribune stated that Aon found only one carrier willing to insure police professional liability during the NATO summit currently taking place on May 20th to 21st. Instead, coverage is being provided through USI Insurance Services.